it's Becca and welcome to the Carriage House, a little place to find cozy inspiration for your hearth and home. I'm glad you've stopped by for a quiet afternoon of hygge at our home on this cold winter's day. I'm going to be in our guest room and putting clean linens on the bed, adding a bit of winter pine and evergreen to the room and just get it all warm and cozy for the season. We're not necessarily expecting guests anytime soon, but I just felt the urge to prepare this room as if we were to have an unexpected guest. We try and secure plans for our life, but sometimes things don't always go as planned as you know. We think we're in control of our lives, but ultimately we're not. So I was thinking to myself, even if I don't plan to have guests this winter, I still deep down do not know. Someone may be in dire need for a place to stay on a cold and snowy night, or a frail family member may need extra attention and care. So with Christmas being only a week away, there's still quite a bit to do. There's presents to wrap, cards to mail, calls to make. But today I wanted to just simply be and be productive, but in a quiet sort of way. So as always, I'm really glad you're here with me. I'll also be baking Christmas cookies in the kitchen, which I'm really looking forward to as well. And we've been getting very strong storms here lately in Iowa. I know I've had, had several people asked if we were okay, okay, and that means so much to me. I love storms, but of course, not when they're destructive. So I'm going to take some time to get this old bed warm and cozy, just in case that unexpected visitor does come along. Now one thing I've noticed about decorating on those cold and dark days of winter, it really can help brighten the room if your base decorating is in white. Now I know this may seem odd coming from a family that has lots of pets and lots of kids, but treat the white bedding as a blank canvas and think of all the different colors and textures you can use that can stand out against the white no matter what season and that's one thing i've noticed it's good to invest in a good quality pair of sheets and duvet cover or comforter and then depending on the season you can mix and match and decorate with colorful throws and a variety of different accent pillows and it really helps save a lot of money by following this method too. So for this winter, I chose the white, of course, and then just very natural shades of throws and pillows. And then the greenery from the pine and evergreen will hopefully make the room feel bright and cheerful, but cozy and warm as well.
now that I finished the guest room, I was eager to get in the kitchen and make some type of Christmas baked goods. So I decided to make O. Henry bars from the sweet little Amish Christmas cookbook that I received from Cassie and Jesse. And they have their own little cooking show on YouTube. I can link down below. But I love this sweet little cookbook and I thank you so very much. You guys, actually I ended up getting a P.O. box finally. It's been two or three years, I think. And I know a lot of you have been asking about one, and that means the world to me. But I will leave the P.O. Box information down below. It's not to receive gifts or anything from you guys. It's it's merely just a, a means to connect. I would, I would love to see pictures of you or just handwritten letters from each other. Remember those good old days? You can actually write a letter and put it in, in the the the. the the box and to mail on <laughs> classic just classically um, but these traditional christmas bars are so delicious they're easy to make using classic ingredients like peanut butter melted chocolate crisp rice and you can even freeze them as well which is always good but i'll link the recipe down below and i've lit some candles i turned a bit of subtle music on in the background and ready to enjoy a bit of winter hygge in the kitchen 